Hello students, here is Łukasz Stolarski speaking and this is my attempt to organize the course for our subject computer analysis of text. Uh, to be honest, it is a bit uh, uncomfortable for me to organize it this way. I definitely prefer to meet you in person, but we live in a reality now that is very different from what we are used to. So uh, I hope this way of communicating uh, will uh, somehow be uh, acceptable for, 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 for you, but as I said, it's very uncomfortable for me. Um, now, let me um, begin by uh, saying uh, about the general stuff that the course is going to include. Um, I am going to follow the tutorial uh, by Lawrence Anthony on the program called AntConc. I, I believe I mentioned uh, the name of this program when we met a few weeks ago uh, and I was going to follow this course anyway I mean uh, I was go going to teach you uh, how to use this program by using his uh, tutorial anyway uh, but in addition to what he's saying in his tutorial I was going to give you my own exercises and my own uh, explanations uh, so th these uh, exercises and my additional comments will be included in the in a series of my own uh, recordings or video rec video and audio recording that recordings I'm going to send to uh, YouTube um, and I'm going to give you links to these obviously so uh, the course by Lawrence Anthony let me show you how to find it so I will go to YouTube And uh, all you need to do is to write uh, and con and conk to tutorial, okay? And you should get you should get uh, this uh, recording by Lawrence Anthony. So and conk 3.4 tutorial one getting started, and this is. Uh, this recording I'm, I'm creating at the moment is about this recording in particular. And then follow his tutorials. There are, I believe, 11 uh, recordings. So each uh, recording I'm going to make will be about one of his recordings. And I'll give you my own uh, comments and exercises on what you can do uh, in addition to what he's saying. Uh, so um, there is the, this link. I, I, I believe I'm going to send you this link in, in a... Uh, in an email I'm going to send, but you can look for this recording just by typing Antcom tutorial in the YouTube uh, search box here. Uh, there, are, uh, there are also other versions of, of this tutorial that you can find on his, I believe on his, uh, uh, here, I mean, among his playlists, you'll also find older versions uh, so, for example, there is this 3.2.4 version also containing something around 10 recordings, but this is the one. Antcon tutorial version 3.4.0. Okay. And by default, when you look for uh, Antcon tutorial, you will find this one. Okay, so the first task for you to perform is to actually watch the first tutorial he's giving, namely getting started. It lasts uh, about six minutes. So for now I want you to stop this recording of mine and watch his tutorial. Okay? And once you watch the tutorial, please continue with watching my um, my explanations. Okay, so I uh, assume that you've watched the tutorial by Lawrence Anthony. Now there are some of the tasks that I'd like you to perform. First of all, uh, if you still haven't done it, I want you to download Anconk. Uh, so uh, the way he explained it was go uh, well actually uh, go to his website so uh, just write and conk in the search box uh, for Google go to uh, his website and as you can see uh, there are s he offers quite actually quite many pieces of software well if you go to his software section okay uh, there is quite a selection of uh, free software that you may download. Uh, uh, in addition to Antcong, we are going to use something called Tagant in the future. But for now, don't worry about this. Um, 
just download Ankong. And by the way, I've downloaded uh, the Ankong for Windows 64-bit version. And to be honest, it doesn't work properly for me. Let me give you an example. So uh, I think I have it here. If I want to uh, uh, use this program, something strange happens, namely if when I open files, I cannot... It actually doesn't work. It actually doesn't work. Nothing, nothing is displayed here. So if you have similar problems, uh, download uh, not the 64-bit version, but the 32-bit uh, version, the, the default version. I don't know, maybe it's my computer, maybe it's my uh, old Windows, uh, maybe the 60-bit 4 version will work for you fine, but it didn't work for me, so at least on Windows. Uh, so I'm using this one, but let's make uh, one rule, let's set up one rule. I want you to use the 3.5.88 uh, version anyway, because uh, if you use older versions, which are available here as well, sometimes the results that you obtain may be slightly different. Uh, this depends on the particular uh, formula that he used in, in the software, and sometimes he changes these. So there was this uh, situation I had test with students some time ago uh, using Antconc, and because they had different versions of the software, they obtained different results, and there was a there was a problem. Okay, so let's stick to this 3.5.8 version for now. Okay, let me go back here, and um, okay, let me check whether the, the recording works. Okay, the, the recording works fine, so let me continue. So, uh, in the video you watched uh, by Lawrence Anthony, he instructed you to download and uh, open Antkong. And uh, the corpus that he's using is brown corpus. I believe I talked about uh, the brown corpus when we met uh, a few weeks ago. It is the first serious uh, corpus uh, for uh, computer analysis of speech. And this could be download, downloaded, download, downloaded from this site. Uh, you probably, if you write brown corpus download in the Google search box, you probably would find other sources. But to be honest, uh, I couldn't find it in exactly the same format used in Lawrence Anthony's videos. Uh, so instead, we will actually create our own corpora rather than just use his corpus. If you find the exact version of the corpus that he's using, that's fine. But I, to be honest, I couldn't find it. And uh, because of that... Uh, I, I don't, at this point, uh, require from you to actually use this very corpus. I mean, it is available online, but it's not exactly the, the, the same format of the corpus that he, uh, I mean, Lawrence Anthony is using. So, uh, instead of that, uh, we'll be creating our own corpora. Uh, other requirements for the course are, uh, we'll occasionally use LibreOffice or OpenOffice, so I'd like you to have this installed just like for our uh, statistics class before. And I may talk about online corpora later, but I'm, I'm not sure we'll have enough time. And as I mentioned uh, already, uh, we also uh, are going to use the another software by Lawrence Anthony called Tagand at some point, but that's later. Don't worry about this now. Okay, and uh, the next uh, series of uh, things I'd like you to perform, and this is something that Lawrence Anthony didn't talk about, uh, is I'd like you to uh, uh, go to go to Google, okay, and I'd like you to write uh, Project Gutenberg, okay. Okay, and uh, go to the first link that you find. And in Project Gutenberg, you can find basically all classical English literature for free. Uh, you can download these books, it's totally uh, legal. Uh, and uh, let's uh, look for Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. So write Heart of Dark Darkness. And, well, I need to press Enter. Okay, and you have several versions. Let's choose the first one. So left click here. 
and I want you to download this uh, ebook in the plain text format. So there is this plain text UTF-8 option here, but instead of left clicking, I want you to right click on it and choose the option save link as because if you just left click on it it will open in a browser and I, I don't want I want the file to be on your computer so save link as and you can already uh, like uh, use the title heart of darkness so change the title to heart of darkness and save it in any uh, I, I already downloaded this, this file so you can see it in uh, on my computer let's save it oh, it'll ask me whether I want to change it yeah let's change it okay then go to the place where you saved it and I want you to uh, open the file if you left uh, double left click on it it should open in uh, in a uh, simple uh, note uh, application like notatnik if you have the Polish version of Windows or if you use any other system it should open in a very simple text editor and the thing I want you to do now is to uh, erase any parts that do not belong to the novel itself I mean they are important but we don't need them for our analysis so I want you to uh, choose this and backspace erase it and also at the bottom there are some parts that we don't need for our analysis. There are these things that we can erase. Now, if I scroll up, I think the novel ends with uh, with the words "an immense darkness." Okay, anything below it should be removed. Okay, and once you've uh, trimmed uh, the, this file, save it. So. Uh, so save it. Okay, we can close it now. So uh, trim any parts of the file which are not the proper text of the novel. And then now I want you to load the file into AntCog. So uh, sorry. let me open AntCog. Okay. And you can either open files or open directory. I'll just choose the op uh, open files option and I'll open the file. Okay, and now I want you to uh, make sure that the file is correctly loaded into the file view tool. So in the file view tool here, click on the uh, f file which is listed here. Like If I make it bigger, you can see that it's the name of the file itself. If I click here, I can see uh, the text has been correctly imported into AntConc. Okay, and finally, and this was also the last uh, action performed by Lawrence Anthony in his uh, recording, I want you to create the word frequency list using word list tool. I'm going to talk about the details of this tool later, but for now go to the word list tool and just click start. Well, what this gives you are the words uh, as they appear in the text arrange according to the frequency. So we see that the most frequent word is the word the, uh, over 2000 times, then the second most frequent is of, and if you scroll down there will be uh, words less and less frequent until you encounter words which appear only once. Okay. I will talk about what are word types, word tokens in the next video. So that's it for now. Uh, uh, in the next video I'm going to give you some uh, other comments and also uh, the next video is going to be associated with the second recording by Lawrence Anthony. That's it for now. Uh, bye bye.